I wanted to share with you all um, what happened with me during the um, Share Jesus Without Fear Bible study. We were about halfway through. I had to go to Louisville to have some tests run. And God was working already that morning because my mother showed up early. We went to the office that I thought it was supposed to be to, and it wasn't. And so we had to go to a different building, and you know, God worked that out. And when timing. I went in to register, uh, I didn't, we didn't even know how it got started, but she was asking me about insurance, and we were talking about that, and I made the comment about us doing a Bible study in yeah. church about witnessing, you know, the Bible study was about witnessing. And she asked me, what does witnessing mean? I said, um, the Bible study we're doing is called Share Jesus Without Fear. And witnessing is when you share salvation of Jesus Christ with somebody else and try to help them make a decision on what they want to do or you know, answer questions for them. She had tears in her eyes. And she said, God sent you in here. There's no, there's not an accident that you're in my chair in my room uh, right now. She said that she wanted me to answer some questions for her. And I said, well, let me ask you a question first. And I asked her, what kind of spiritual beliefs do you have? And she said that she believed that there was a God. She believed uh, there was a higher being. She didn't know who it was or anything. Uh, she didn't believe Jesus and God were connected. I think she'd been looking for a while, and she just she just didn't know. And so I said, well, let me ask you this. Who is Jesus Christ to you? And she said, um, if I had to explain Jesus, I would think of light and love, uh, goodness. And I said, well, and, and she asked me, is that what you wanted to hear? And I said, I just want to hear what you want to say. And she uh, made those comments about Jesus. And then I said, well, let me ask you this. Do you believe there's a heaven and a hell? And she said, yes, I believe there's a heaven. And yes, I believe there's a hell. But I don't believe that there's a devil with dressed in red with horns and everything. And I said, if you died today, where do you think you would go? And she said, I would go to heaven. And I said, why? And she said that she tried to do the right thing. She was kind to people. She was, um, tried to be honest. And, and I, I said, there is no way you can be good enough to get to heaven. No one is. All of us are sinners. I'm a sinner. I'm, I've been saved, but I'm a sinner. And none of us are going to be good enough to get to heaven. You can only get to heaven if you repent of your sins and you ask Jesus into your life and you want to live that life. And I said, um, you go from being self-centered to Christ-centered. And she started crying and she said her husband had died of cancer in October and he was right with God before he died and he told her that he wanted her to to get her life together and to straighten out her life and she said I want that can you help me get that and I told her that I would be glad to pray with her and that was up to her. She would have to make that decision. So I got up and I wrapped my arms around her and I started to pray with her aloud. And in the middle of my praying for her, she started praying out loud. And before it was all over, we were both just bawling. And when I finished, she said, she just held on to me and she said, I can breathe. I haven't been able to breathe since he died. I can breathe and I feel light and Jesus is my Lord and Savior now. And I asked her if she had a church to go to and she said that she didn't. 
She said her dad had given her a Bible. She had never opened it. She didn't know anything about the Bible, where to start. And I told her to start in John. And she asked me then about God and Jesus being one because that's what I insinuated when she said they were separate. And I told her in the first book of John, the first in the beginning chapter, there was the Word, and the Word was with God, and God was the Word, and the Word was Jesus. Jesus was there at the ascension, so they have always been the same. And I told her to start there, to get a hold of her dad, and go to church with her dad, because she said her dad went to church. We walked out of the room after we finished my paperwork, and my mother was sitting there, and she's like, what in the world has taken you so long? And I looked at her, and I, I guess I was just beaming. I had still tears in my eyes, and I said, she's accepted Christ as her Lord and Savior. And then my mom started crying. And I looked at her, and I said, I have got to call Mark, because, you know, we were going through this Bible study together, and it was important to me to share that with him. And for anybody that had, didn't get the opportunity to go through sharing Jesus without fear, those questions, there's five questions, and four of them I used to talk to that lady with. And um, they just make it so simple. I was one of those people that thought I didn't know enough. I didn't have the right answers. I didn't know the Bible well enough. And if you go through the Bible study, it just makes it so simple and easy to just guide a conversation into that. And when I first went in there and she asked me about what witnessing meant, I thought, okay, God, are you at work here? Give me the words to say. And I just went with what the, I, I had learned in the Bible study. Oh,